Hello everyone and welcome to my video on Ipso attack or Ipso substitution. What is Ipso substitution? First let us understand what is Ipso. Ipso came from the Latin word which means relative position and which is called the Ipso position. The position which is occupied by a non-hydrogen substituent that is Y in the aromatic ring is called the Ipso position. Attack by the electrophile at the Ipso position is called Ipso attack. Now when an electrophile will attack the Y group of the aromatic ring, the Y group may be replaced with an electrophile or substituted with an electrophile and this substitution is known as Ipso substitution. So what is Ipso substitution? Ipso substitution is a substitution reaction where the attacking electrophile occupies a position replacing a non-hydrogen substituent Y in the aromatic ring. Now why is Ipso substitution different from the other electrophilic substitution reaction? In the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction, the electrophile occupies a position ortho or meta or para with respect to the substituent Y. But in Ipso substitution, the electrophile occupies a position replacing the substituent Y in aromatic ring. The next question is, can all reaction undergo Ipso attack? No. The major driving force for the Ipso attack is the liberation of Y plus group as stable carbocation or the ease of the liberation of the Y group as gas like CO2H group as carbon dioxide, SO3H group as SO3 sulfur trioxide and this increases the entropy of the reaction and the reaction will go faster in the forward direction. Let's have a look at the mechanism of the reaction. When substituted aromatic ring is attacked by an electrophile, it leads to the formation of carbocation. And this carbocation can be stabilized by resonance. Finally, if the Y group is removed or gets eliminated, then we get a product through Ipso attack. Now the importance of any reaction increases when it finds a wide application in varied field of science. Ipso attack also has a wide variety of application. It can be used for proto-desulfonation or proto-decarboxylation, bromo-desulfonation, bromo-decarboxylation, nitro-desulfonation, nitro-decarboxylation, proto-desylylation, nitro-dealkylation, nitro-halogenation and also in isomerization. In this video, we will discuss about, about uh, desulfonation and decarboxylation reactions. In the next video, we will be discussing about the other applications of Ipso substitution. Now, what is proto-desulfonation or proto-decarboxylation? Proto-desulfonation or proto-decarboxylation means replacement of the sulfonic acid or carboxylic acid group with hydrogen. During this process, the sulfonic acid group can grow out as SO3 
गैस एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड ग्रुप कैन गो आउट एज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड प्रोटो मीन्स हाइड्रोजन एंड प्रोटो मीन्स प्रोटोन विच मीन्स हाइड्रोजन एंड डी सल्फोनेशन मीन्स रिमूवल ऑफ द सल्फोनिक एसिड ग्रुप विथ हाइड्रोजन सिमिलरली प्रोटो डी कार्बोक्सिलेशन मीन्स रिमूवल ऑफ कार्बोक्सिलिक ग्रुप विथ हाइड्रोजन नाउ लुक एट दिस एग्जाम्पल वेन बेन्जीन is uh, when benzene sulfonic acid is attacked with the acid h plus ion the electrophile attacks the epso position leading to the formation of carbocation this carbocation finally the so3 h group goes out as sulfur trioxide leading to the formation of the product benzene since this is an electrophilic substitution reaction therefore the presence of an electron donating group like nh2 or oh group enhances the rate of the reaction the lone pair electron on nitrogen or oxygen enters into resonance with the pi electron cloud of the benzene ring and generates a negative charge at ortho and para position of the aromatic ring and this facilitates the reaction the electrophilic substitution reaction at these positions look at this example bromination of sulfoanalic acid gives rise to bromoaniline by ipso substitution which on treatment with excess of bromine gives 2 4 6 aniline this reaction is an example of bromodesalination as we will see in this reaction the so3h group is replaced with the bromo group look at the mechanism the lone pair electron on the nitrogen of the amino group enters into the resonance with the pi electron clouds of the benzene ring and generates a negative charge at ortho and para position the para position is the position where so3 h group is attacked This negative charge favors the attack of the electrophile at this position. In the next step, the SO3 H group is lost as sulfur trioxide. Yes, as sulfur trioxide leading to the product para bromoaniline. which on treatment with excess of bromine acetic acid gives the product 246 tribromoanil similarly treatment of bromine acetic acid on para hydroxy benzoic acid gives 246 tribromophenol through ipso attack and liberation of carbon dioxide group as liberation of co2h group as carbon dioxide the compound 246 tribromophenol is used as fungicide the lone pair electron on oxygen of oh group facilitates the reaction this is a mechanism of the reaction which is very similar to the earlier mechanism This is this reaction is an example of bromo decarboxylation because here the CO2 H group is replaced with the bromo group. And so this reaction is called bromo decarboxylation. Let's have a look at this reaction. when compound when this compound is treated with bromine water 
what product do you expect can you guess switch off the video or pause the video find out the answer and again come back and look at the answer if you see this compound this carboxylic group the is in resonance with the lone pair electron on the oxygen of the oh group and therefore this a uh, negative charge will can be generated at this position which will help the electrophile to attack at this position and hence this group this carboxylic acid group gets easily replaced with the, the br group with the electrophile br it gets replaced whereas this carboxylic group it's very difficult to be removed as carbon dioxide so let's have a look at the mechanism see the lone pair electron on the oxygen of the oh group enters into the resonance and generates a negative charge here this negative charge can easily attack the bromine molecule and as a result of which this carbox this carboxylic acid group finally goes out as carbon dioxide and and we get a bromo substitution here which is not possible at this position and so the product is this another application of epso substitution is the formation of picric acid picric acid is nothing but 246 trinitrophenol now you can think that nitration of phenol can give 246 trinitrophenol that is picric acid but the yield of the reaction is very low so picric acid is usually prepared from salicylic acid or ortho hydroxy benzene sulfonic acid picric acid has a wide variety of application it can be used as antiseptic astringents in ointments in the production of explosive matches electrical batteries it has an application in leather industries in dye industries it is used to manufacture colored gases and so many other applications now when salicylic acid is treated with nitrating mixture that is concentrated nitric acid and sulfuric acid it gives picric acid through epso substitution and this is an example of nitro d d sulfur this is an example of nitro d carboxylation similarly ortho hydroxy sulfonic acid on treatment with nitrating mixture can also give picric acid through epso substitution Now here is a problem for you. When this compound is treated with bromine water, what product do you expect? Look at the mechanism. Electron donating effect of OH group generates a negative charge at ortho and para position. and this facilitates the attack of bromine at this position further the loss of carbo carboxylic acid group as carbon dioxide from ortho position and loss of so3h group from para position will give 
4,6-dibromo-3-hydroxy-benzoic acid. What about this carboxylic acid group? Will it be replaced by bromine? No. Since it is at meta position, it is difficult to be removed. And therefore, the final product is this. Let's have a look at another example. This compound when treated with bromine acetic acid, what product do you expect? With the knowledge of previous reaction, do you expect this product? No. The product is 246-tribromo-3-amino-benzoic acid. Because the reagent used is bromine acetic acid, which can add bromine in the aromatic ring. And therefore, these two groups, these two sulfonic acid groups can be easily removed by the electrophile as they are at ortho and para position to the electron donating amino group whereas this carboxylic acid group cannot be replaced as it is at it is at meta position with respect to the amino group so next the bromination since bromine acetic acid can introduce a bromo group at this position and so the final product is 246-tribromo-3-amino-benzoic acid. Now let's have a look at the last example. What do, product do you expect when we treat this compound with bromine water? This sulfonic acid group is at para position to the NH2 group and can be easily replaced by Br. Whereas this carboxylic group and this sulfonic acid group cannot be replaced by the Br group. So what product do you expect? Do you expect this? No. Though Ipso attack cannot happen at this position and at this position, but if you observe carefully, the molecule have a isolated double bonds at these two positions. And under the influence of the reagent bromine water, these double bonds can bromine can attack and add to these isolated double bonds and the product is not this but it is this that's all for today